Was it for you, Hika? Oh, God! Who let you escape? Fucking damn it! Ah! What the hell, man? <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little shocked here because he was my second suspect, and I'm like, but he's locked up. Who? Nobody would possibly let him out. <laughs> Fucking why? I can't even fucking read now, man. I'm shit. All right. Anyways, why? Well, hello there, Hajime and Chiki. Um, I have the biggest smile on my face right now. Hello there, Hajime and Chiki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagito. <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you like this, even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, Mihiru got killed. She got got, man. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, it only... <laughs> Damn it, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. But still, you got... I can't fucking... I can't deal with Komaeda anymore looking at him. Fuck. Damn it. He's so, such a good character, but I can't fucking deal with his bullshit. Anyways, uh, you guys will be, damn it, you guys will be able to shine because his outcome is full of despair, right? That's right, no matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter. Yeah. Much brighter and stronger. I had to yawn again, I'm sorry, I couldn't really speak. <laughs> <laughs> though, I, though I do feel bad for my hero, this is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez, as usual, he's acting so crazy, he almost pisses me off. So why are you here? Who told you about Mahiru? You don't have to make such a scary face, I'll tell you, you know? Monomi. What? It's Monomi! Yeah, it was me. What? Why? Why did you untie him without anyone's permission? Did I do bad? Yes, you did. You did very bad. I just want everyone to get along and you know, cooperate. There's no... What the fuck? There's no way we'll get along. You already know that kind of guy he is. What the hell, man? But fighting amongst friends is what Naomi wants... Uh, not Mo What the hell am I saying? It's what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Now, now. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monomi is m making a valid point, too. You have no right to say that. You have no right to talk at all, motherfucker. What? But now it's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial from a hero, right? That's right! That's right. That's why everyone must work together and have my uh, enough. Shut up. Damn it. Enough already. Just go away. Go away. You're useless. Naito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Man. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of the game, so there's you bastard. Uh, so there's really no reason for me to be here. True ending. Uh, so although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. You're unsettling, you fucking piece of shit. I'll try to be useful in my own way. Who do you want to be useful to, the killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I'll always be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. I was right to not trust that bastard. If he didn't exist, the situation could be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it. Hey. Hodge man, let's just move on. let's just move on and start the game. Cheeky, you're still number two waifu, but you might be number one one day. And I'm saying that because you might be number one by by default. <laughs> you're right. Well let's get started, Cheeky. Let's oh, fucking damn it. Even if I do play this game, I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiki if there is a walkthrough for the game. What the fuck? <laughs> a walkthrough for a game that existed yesterday. Anyways, hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this bullshit? Huh? I feel like I'm just gonna repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get a game over. So if there's so if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me? When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? 
you should ha you should have seen it too. You know the thing that was displayed on the game over screen. Is that down five? That's stupid. Are you telling me they want me to move the joystick down five times? It's bullshit. Anyways, are you talking about the message that says down five? That's right. So you know that doesn't mean you're down five drinks or something. I thought we were down like five people or some shit or five days or something. I don't know. So it means that you have to press down five times. Then the hidden command is you just have to press down five times when you're at the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to get the real game. So that's trick. Just suspect of the ultimate gamer. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just you either get it or you don't. In fact, Naito got it on his own, and it looks like he managed to beat the game. I guess Fuyuhiko did too, because he had an envelope. Right, come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Alright. That's stupid. That's so stupid. Monokumo Soft. This game is a work of nonfiction and resembles real persons living or dead is purely intentional. <laughs> Alright. I need to press down five times and that's unsettling as fuck music. I didn't listen to it last time. That's really fucked up. Anyways, I need to press down five times on the title screen. Alright, let's do this. Open the door. Uh, open the new door to Twilight Syndrome. Press down five times with your own hands. One, two, three, four, five. Did it! That's really unsettling music. It got faster. I don't like this. The screen changed, so uh, this is the real game. Twilight Central Murder Case, True Edition. I should start it up. I need to find out why, what the motive is. I start by pressing options. <laughs> Press the option buttons with your own hands. I don't like this. No jump scares, please. Uh, we open with a specific murder case, a uh, tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy of this girl attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that it was an incident, the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind the incident. Even before the junior first discovered the body, there was a student who witnessed the crime herself. The student was f five high school girls. They didn't want to involve in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell the girl. Several days after the incident, one of the girls, girl E, is murdered by someone what in the world happened to this once peaceful academy by playing the games first day and third day you'll be able to understand the mystery all the answers will seek and hidden in the truth edition will be able to reach truth I'm I don't want to look at the screen I'm scared of jump scares anyways now then let's start with the first day w when it all began this is really unsettling I don't like this I'm not a fan of this I'm, I'm not a fan of this <laughs> Now loading. First day. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're gonna go home late because we had to wait for Slowpoke Girl A. Come on, Girl B. You don't have to be like that, man. Hey, don't be taking photos, man, without permission. You might mistake us for good friends. People might mistake us for good friends. Wow, that's fucked up. I'm not your friend. What? There's no way I ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. What? Ta-da! What? The way Girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking to collect would get stick to their stomachs. Huh, is Girl E anywhere? Yeah, apparently she forgot something. She told us just to wait a little longer. She can't find her swim- Oh, God. Oh, this is too similar. Oh shit, her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. Stolen? You don't, uh, you don't know. A pervert has been spotted in the recent in the area recently. You should be careful, girl. A eh? a chubby weakling like you makes the perfect prey. Hey, stop it, girl. A eh? is really. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I really don't like this because i'm right now i'm projecting the characters of the game onto the characters within the game within the game okay so so the bitch girl over here is obviously hayaka the other girl is obviously mikan girl a who a uh, girl e who ends up dying is mahiru i don't know who the other two are but one of them probably is sonya to be honest because their plan because it has swimsuits and shit and it was her plan to go swimming and shit uh it's fun to bully girl a yeah that's Oh, it's not cool, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> what was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. It sounded like it came from the second floor. Let's go. Guys, please don't leave without me. 
I'm really scared. Guys, don't leave without me. They said second floor, right? So, go up. Huff, huff, puff, puff, huff, puff. What? Girl, Lee, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now, and then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, you're right. It's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is something really in there? Uh, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open the door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key, man. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. I found the key. Nobody was there, so super easy to get. Then let's open it right away. Creek. Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Why me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Uh, yeah, why me? Clatter, clatter. Huh. Okay. Oh. Why, hello there. What the fuck? Someone's lying on the floor. This. She's not lying on the floor. She's fucking dead, dude. Dead? It's impossible. Why? Uh, okay. Lower your voices. Somebody might be nearby. Nearby? I mean, this looks like someone. Okay. Yeah. Alright. There's a lot of similarities to our murder case. First. A lot of similarities just with characteristics and the fact that the person escaped out the fucking window? Okay. Okay. I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered? Seriously, shut up. What was gonna happen if the killer noticed us? What should we do? What should we do, man? Uh, I see, so that's what happened. I found it. The killer escape route. Escape route? Could it be? They hopped out the fucking window like a madman? Ah, uh, the window's broken. The sounds we uh, sounds we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside, and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escape route. Yeah. They broke the window and escape route. That's not that's not a sentence. They broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but it seems can't find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window? But if they wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. It must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. What? A broken fish tank has been added to true bullets. Okay. It's not too high to jump from second floor, so maybe though they'd be safer than using a wait what? So maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway. Okay, yeah. But is that really it? I mean to lock the door you have to either lock it from the inside of the music room or have a lounge key. Or when I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room to begin with? What? Oh, okay. Okay, wait. So somebody was literally just waiting there. Like, the whole day. Just waiting? That's creepy as fuck. Anyways, also, to get outside from the music room, they need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anybody pass by, which means the killer only escape route is from the window. Uh, killer escape route. Alright, so it couldn't be. Alright. Even though there's a lot of similarities, can't be Hayaka. Because we saw her escape. So the idea of the murder is while people would come and investigate. The person would be escaping at that time through the window, so they wouldn't have to pass anybody. So, it couldn't be Hayako, because she left before we investigated, before anyone even knew about the murder. It's probably that pervert, <laughs> that pervert, it's probably that pervert I heard about. 
He's the only one who snuck into the school grounds. Huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole girlie's swimsuit also murdered the girl over here. They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resist- Okay? That's- Hmm. Hmm. That's a little on the nose. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window, and escaped. Swimsuit. Stolen swimsuit. Alright. I'm starting to think a little bit more about Kazuchi now. It's kind of weird, but still. Uh, yeah, isn't it bad if we stayed in a room much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might still be around, too. That's bad. Uber bad. We better hurry up and run. But don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspects just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. Yeah, it'd be best if we just left the room. How we found it. Just lock the door and leave everything how it was. Uh, please wait. Don't leave me. Okay, third day. Girl D. Sorry, did I make you wait? So, what's up? You asked me to meet here. Don't you tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. Uh, what happened? I want you to take a look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom and I was going home. I couldn't help but take a picture. Do you think it was broken vase piece? Uh, what do you think it means? The the broken vase piece. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to think right now. The sounds we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. It was the sound of the vase. What what is this? I don't know anything about this vase, vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously? I don't know anything. It's okay, I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girly? Are you going to try and blackmail me? Of course not. It's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You you didn't say anything either. I knew, I knew you know. I knew the girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your f photography club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I was supposed to be your best friend if you told me none of this would happen. Wait, what? What? What the fuck? I'm losing it here. Girlie, don't tell me you, that bitch, thought she could do anything if she wanted to become... Wait, what? I'm sorry, I'm not reading it. I'm, I'm a little frazzled here. That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted just because her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first, I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking shit about how she targeted me next. So, I felt a sudden rage. Before I knew it, I was choking the bitch. I was like, you know, I need to choke a bitch. Just pat her little by her fucking neck and just squeeze it. Anyways, and then she lost consciousness. But then, uh, but things would have been worse if she woke up. So that's why I had to do something about it. That's oh shit, it's my fault or yours. It's all her fault. Girlie, wait, you murderous bitch. That bitch girl Lee, was it? Word is she was with her on the day of the incident. Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This face is... Could it be? The sounds of breaking glass was actually this? If that was it... Wait, what? If, if it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions, and if that bitch really did that, I'll never forgive her. 
I will never forgive her. Wait, what? What just happened? I'm confused. What the fuck? Okay, looks like it ended. That's right. That's the true edition. The incident day and three are depicted in it. Yep, now you filled out four events of the last day. Yep, okay. Hey, Cheeky, what do you think characters in this game? You mean girl A and girl B? Their names make sense if you have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. What are you talking? Looks like the ending staff rule started. S what? You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it properly. Okay, let's look at it. Producer Monokuma. Director Monokuma. Supervisor Monokuma. Okay, Monokuma, shit! Okay. Oh shit. All right. Okay. What? Uh. All right. Okay. See? D uh, see, did I tell you what you want to know is going to be on there? Miracle! Yeah, congratulations. Miracle. What the fuck, man? We finally beaten Twilight Syndrome murder case. Now you guys play the game through the end. You should already know. That's right. The game is a non-fiction game based on actual past incident. Is that true? By the way, non-fiction means the original story based on historical facts or record. What? Okay. But even if it's this notification, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, it can't be helped. The school life no longer remembers the setting of the story. Our school life? Ezra, raid congratulate what the fuck now then as for the ending prize I'm supposed to give you a reward for clearing the game I won't give it to you what <laughs> there is only one ending prize and I already gave it to the first person who beat it for you Hiko Too bad. how disappointing did you say ending prize like I like I was told the same thing when I beat it too Man, I was too late. If I known something like this was gonna happen, I would have played the game sooner. Ending prize, okay. But the ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monica said earlier. He mentioned how he used the school life as a setting for the game. Just as I thought, it's connected to this. Uh, but is it really? Is it really true? We're all we're already living our school lives, and our memories were completely taken. If something that crazy possibly happened, then what did it do to us? Okay. It looked like there's something on your mind. Huh? Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who beat in this game. This game is non-fiction. And that the missing link that existed are forgetting school memories. Okay. So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? Well, yeah. I don't know, but instead of thinking about the right now, we gotta focus on solving the mystery first. Whether we believe it, the motivation, wait what? Whether we believe it's the motivation or not, it's clear that the murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. You're talking about the people who characters appeared in the game, right? Then I'll go to. That's right. If I got some information on them, I might find out of something. About the mystery behind me here is death, about whether the game is true or not. And if we already had our school memories taken away... Then, let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Leave it to me. And also, if you want to gather their thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see. Thanks for the huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go. Okay. God damn it, can you fuck off, Komaeda? Anyways. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiki. We meet again. Time is too perfect. We were waiting here, weren't you? you caught me? Ah, so you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together if you beat in the game and we must think similarly, right? No, maybe I think a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similar to you guys. It's okay, just make your point. Well, there was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet me up there. Them? Don't know. Well, why the characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. 
The girl must be busy with their investigation too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them. No? If you want if you want to hear that, then you have what the fuck? What should we do? Uh what should we do? I think we should make out with Chiki. Just right now. Just just stop what we're doing, just make out with her. Anyways, uh, I guess the only thing we can do. I guess we're fuck, damn it! Okay. Alright. Okay. Gonna save my game now. I'm gonna save my game now. Cause I fucking damn it. I'm gonna save my game. Slot nine. Slot nine. The soul plane. Okay. Damn. Okay, well, alright. Whew. Let's, uh. Shit. Where, what am I doing? Airport, airport. That's where we're going, right? Damn, dude. Hi, Cheeky. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Ah! Damn it! I can't think straight. Shit. <sighs> Mekon. Mekon's the killer. Mekon's the killer. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Mekon's the fucking. <sighs> it's probably Mekon. Damn it. Okay. Shit. Let's just, let's just collect our thoughts. Pray to God. It's not Mikan. Alright. Hanjime, over here. Mikan, Ibuki, Hayako, you're all here. Um. Name of the staff of Twilight Central Murder Case. Huh. Fucking Tatsumi, Koizumi, Sanja, Murai, Sato, Kazuryu. So, Fuyuhiko's not here. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. Huh? It's okay to be absent? I thought you'd have to get executed if we didn't come. What? I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lie! <laughs> a lie! Oh, you tricked us! What the, what the hell? Jeez. Fine, I'm leaving. Wait. No the fuck you're not. Can you wait until we finish our business with you? Okay, Ajime. Uh, this is like I'm the same team as Nagito. Shit. Now I gotta focus right now. Alright. Mekon. Mekon, please. Mekon. 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 Mekon, please. Mekon, please. I really trust you. Mekon, please say it isn't so. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Have you played the game Twilight Central Murder Case? No. Since we said we weren't going to play the game, no, I am not good at video games, man. Pretty slow. I'm pathetic instantly. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure a girl lay of the care. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I was sure too. Hey, hey. Anyway, you tell me about your relationship with Mahiru. Relationship with Mahiru? I first met her when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving in the class, I have fun conversations with her, but... Uh, could it be that Mahiru hate me? No, uh, it's definitely it. She hated me. She doesn't know anything. More like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me for to act invited... Wait, what? For her to actually invite me, she must... Oh, damn it. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to keep it together here. Okay. But even though she hated me for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Invite? Um, her invited me this morning. This morning? She looked very suspicious. I mean, not suspicious. Serious. And she was wondering if we could all meet up and could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline because I need to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said she read schedule for another day. <laughs> but if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. Shit. Mahiru invited Mekon, why? Alright, let's talk to you, you little fucking bitch, girly. Not girly, what the fuck, girl B, or whatever, I don't know. 
It's not fair. Can't believe you actually tricked us to come to this place. I had nothing to say, impudent regular people like you. Regular? Uh, she's right. I might seem regular guy, but I also have an ultimate talent, or at least I should have one. So you're just not going to talk to me? Okay, well that's cool. Alrighty, Buki. What you got for me? Hey, Buki, can I ask you something? Bring it on! Uh, have you played Twilight Murder Case? Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. The movie is a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electric except electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now it's time to really dwell on something like that. A unique tone in the hyper energy, there was a character like that in the game too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's your relationship to Mahiru? Uh, you mean that in a perverted way? No, in a normal way. Well, even if you ask me that, Buki's encounter with Mahiru was a... Uh, uh, Ah, when I asked Mihiro this morning to go to the beach with us, she made a real disappointing face. Disappointing face. See, yeah, but disappointing ver varies be depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with department store rooftops. What? Okay, let's stay focused, please. That's totally it! It's a turn on! Mihiro had some busy, uh, some business too, and she's uh, she wanted to invite me. Wait, what? I can't read. Jesus, I'm illiterate! Anyways, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... Uh, do you know what she meant by everyone? I uh, uh, no? I didn't ask. I see. My hero invited Ibuki, but why? I see. I see. Looks like I've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies based on that. Seems like my hero also beat in the game. Why, why do you know that? You don't know? If she, had, if she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to people who appeared in the game. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. But still... But in her case, it was much more uh, serious, probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in the game. That's true. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mahiro would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Naito, did you tempt her into playing the game? Huh? Huh? What? I remember. Anyways, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying uh, saying she has some business to take care of? Huh? How do you know that? Wh wait, you tempt her, right? Just like you did to me. Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. That disrespectful. <laughs> that's disrespectful term here. You have no right to say that. Isn't that right? Uh, there's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At the time, she was already considering giving the game a try, and all I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. What the hell, man? Well, but more importantly, isn't it better we listen to what she had to say? She's being quiet as, as ever. I'm counting on you, Hayaka. Hey. I'm here. Uh, if Mahiro spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you, right? Well, Hayaka. <laughs> she never talked to me at all, you lying bitch. Weird. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Bye. So I'm just gonna head back to my cottage now. Bye. Hey, Hayaka. Ignore my voice, Hayaka ran away. Like a little bitch. Anyways, looks like it's okay if she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided. Regardless, it looks like we finished here. So why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye now. Yeah, you need to investigate how to put knives in people's backs. You fucking... Goddamn bastard. See you later. Yeah. What the heck is his problem? Even if his exit was pushy. Cheeky, what should we do? Should we make out now? I mean, what? Should we go back to the scene of the crime? Investigate more? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to Mahira's cottage first. Mahira's cottage? If she beat the game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Uh, that was your cue to say yes? Okay. Mekon. 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 But if I only went with her, this would happen. Aww. Okay. Alright. We're getting closer to the, to the truth. That's a good thing, right?